Welcome back everybody. Haven't filmed a video in a little while, so excited to be back talking with all of you. You'll notice that I'm not in the garage like I usually am, but instead today I'm coming to you from my kitchen. And you might say, well, why are we in the kitchen? Well, I want to talk about inactivity in the household and how you can optimize your environment to support your goals and activities that you want to pursue. So for instance, you'll notice behind me, put up a little pull-up bar. Now, in our old home, my wife and I had this same pull-up bar put in the bathroom in our master bedroom. And we did this so that, one, it would get us to, to move a little bit more. One, one of our goals was to get better pull-ups. And if you don't have something to hang from or a pull-up bar in your immediate vicinity, you're probably not gonna do a whole lot of it unless you're in the gym. And something like pull-ups responds really well to frequent practice. So we throw up this pull-up bar, we had my wife do isometric holds up at the top, we did some slow lowering negatives, and lo and behold in about two, three weeks, she was knocking out her first pull-up, and another one, and another one. So this stuff works, and when you've got things like Netflix and Hulu and all that kind of good stuff, it's easy to just be caught up at home and just chilling on the couch, not doing anything at all, nothing productive. Actually, you're more likely going against your goals by that inactivity. So if you can find ways like adding a pull-up bar or building some parallettes, like uh, I showed in a video I'll link down below, you can put those in your living room and use those while you're doing your Netflix watching, binging. I mean, Stranger Things comes out in a couple of days. I know I'm gonna sit and watch that, but how can I challenge myself to find ways to not waste all that time and not actually wreck my body a bit more while I'm enjoying something like that? Uh, my wife and I invested in uh, some crossover symmetry bands that we have on a door in the basement. So we go down and try to work on our scapular strength and mobility each day. So my challenge to you is to think of ways around your house that you can add maybe like a pull-up bar or some of these other pieces of equipment that can help trigger you as you're walking through your home to do a little bit something extra. I mean, this doorway goes down our main hallway. It leads into our kitchen. If you're coming from our living room, you're gonna come through that doorway. So if I said, hey, every time I walk through here, kind of grease the groove style. I'm gonna do, knock out like two or three pull-ups real quick. Boom. Pretty easy. If I did that a couple times a day, even when I do it in the morning, do it when I come home from work, you know, you'll start to accumulate a lot of extra volume that you wouldn't have done otherwise. You'll stimulate a little bit, get that blood flowing a little bit more while you're at home. And then I found that if I do something like that and I'm sitting on the couch, I start to like get a little bit antsy to maybe get on the ground and do some stretching or something instead because that blood's moving, your mind's kind of a bit more triggered on movement as opposed to just sitting. So if you take up this challenge, be sure to hit me up on social media post all those links down below. I wanna see what you implemented in your home to create a more movement friendly environment. And uh, maybe I can steal some of those things from you so I can make our home even more movement friendly uh, and share it with others as well so that they can learn and be inspired by whatever you're doing, I'm doing, whatever any of us are doing to uh, pursue a life with a bit more movement, a bit more vitality, and uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. So post your home improvements down below and look forward to talking to you in the next video.